Who knows, it might become famous. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm here with Tim McCain, a uh, famous worm grower, worm farmer <laughs> in uh, Aromas, California, up near Monterey. Uh, Tim's got a bunch of these bins in his backyard, and each one, had, what were you saying, is about a half million worms in each of these? Half million per worm. Yeah. And then within each bin, he's got a layer of about six inches of material and a whole bunch of red wigglers. The, card, the cardboard in here is just to keep the moisture in so it doesn't dry out too fast. And what you were saying, Tim, is that they double in population? Every three months. Yeah. So he's got uh, a number of other bins under construction around the yard here to keep up with the growing population. Why don't we, can you uh, maybe show some of those in, in your hand and... Uh, it's cool when you found one of those eggs before. That would be pretty interesting. And the material that they're in is a lot of newspaper and you were saying horse manure? Yes. There's, a, there's some good ones. I don't know if you can see that, it's there's pretty small, egg. but there's a little worm egg that hatches in... Uh, the term is capsules. Capsules? They don't call them eggs, they call them worm, worm yeah. capsules. And that just will hatch in the material into a little baby worm that takes a few months to grow. In about three weeks after they lay the eggs, yeah. then this, ha this hatches into anywhere from four to six worms. Oh, I see. Sometimes it's only two. Out of the sometimes out of one capsule, one. yeah. Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's six. So it varies. It's just not all. They're not all the same. Sometimes it's even more than six. See, they don't like the light, so they're all going to go down to the bottom. Yeah, and then in about three months, those worms are mature and breeding, well, creating more you've capsules. Also, you've also got a lot of babies and eggs in here too. That's oh, going to yeah? help. Cool. And the key is to just kind of keep the material. Keep this moist, keep it moist, not soggy, moist, right. like a wet sponge. And then add. And when you get home, put these in your little bin and add some of your kitchen scraps. Yeah. You're going to have coffee grounds. Do they kitchen, actually, kitchen scraps. they actually eat the coffee grounds? Yes. Oh, I got a lot of coffee grounds. Throw them in there. Somebody said to put eggshells in there too. Eggshells egg shells will work, but they, it takes a long time for it to break down. Yeah. And anything that that's not dairy and i think it's um, not dairy dairy or meat lemons lemons uh, compost them first yeah nobody nobody likes to taste the lemon so. hey upgrade my cat <laughs> have to say hi. all right very cool well, we're gonna embark on a, an effort to grow some worms and make some compost for the garden so now okay. they put out castings. This is worm castings. Worm, worm castings is a good. It's good for your plants, but that's not really what your the your NPK and your 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 nutrients is not really what you're after. You're after the microbes and the fungi that's, that you inoculate your soil with. Oh, I see. Worm castings in here. It's going to inoculate the microbes and the fungi. The fungi, which in turn is going to create. It's going to your roots of your plants. It's going to uh, create a, what you call a soil food web. It's going to add to it, and it's going to create an environment where the roots of your plants and your plants are going to take in more nutrients through their roots. Oh, I That's see. That's why it's so. So I thought, so I thought it was. I thought it was totally different than that. But. Now there are nutrients, yes. But that's not the most important thing. Mm -hmm. The microbe, the mi microorganisms, and the fungi is what's most important in worm castings. And I make a tea out of this too. <laughs> out of the worm liquid, castings? Liquid. Make a liquid out of it. And, uh, but is that, what do you do? You actually, what do you do with the tea? Do you drink it? Foley or feed it, and you feed it to the plant. Oh, I see. See, essentially it's a liquid. 
yes. like a fertilizer almost, it's like a but better. Basket. I got it. Okay. All right. Well, look at that. Thanks. Thanks, Tim.